What's up everyone? Um, today I'm going to show you a few kinetic molecular theory demos. Um, and so first one we have station two here. I've got a jar of water, it's half filled, and a sheet of plastic. So what I'm going to do is a little magic trick for you all. I'm going to take the sheet of plastic, put it on top of the jar, I'm going to put my hand over it, flip it over, going on here check that out this little tiny plastic thing is holding the water in place do your best to explain this phenomena um, think about what's going on with the gas particles around here uh, what's keeping the water from just spilling out all right our next demonstration uh, station number three uh, is gonna be me blowing up this balloon so Make sure you draw a model of this um, as I blow up this balloon. Think about what's going on before I blow it up. It's just flat. And then think about what I'm doing as I put my breath or carbon dioxide into this balloon. I'm tired, so that's it for me. Um, think about what's keeping this balloon like this. I do children's birthday parties, just kidding. Um, so yeah, what's keeping this balloon inflated? Um, when you squeeze it, you know, what are we feeling inside of there? Okay, so there you have it. Lastly, we have station four. So this is gonna be involving things that smell. So in chemistry, we might wanna smell some chemicals. So I've got an uh, air freshener here. And I'm just gonna demonstrate you the proper technique on how to smell chemicals in chemistry. It's called wafting. So let's say we've got a chemical here that has a smell. So you wanna go down to it and you're gonna waft it towards your nose. And that way you can smell whatever chemical it is. So again, this is called wafting. And just think, why would this be the proper method um, for smelling chemicals in a chemistry lab? Again, this is the process of wafting. Smells pretty good.